I'm here with Bijou Bentley and Liz, and we're here to talk about drag couples. So, when did you guys meet? Wait, wait, sorry. When or where? <laughs> Both. How? How did you meet? We met online, like 2010, 2009, like beginning of 2009. Like I think it was like March, maybe ish. And it wasn't on like a gay app or anything. It was literally like an online forum. Yeah. Like nothing like sketchy or scary. Literally, we were just kidding. But yeah. still, like 14 year old, like 15 year old strangers talking yeah. to each other yeah. on the other side of the country. But, you know, it's fine. It worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. It's been a while. Um, so you weren't doing drag, either of you, at that time. And so, BJ, you started doing drag first, right? I started doing drag first. I started doing drag... Like, maybe, like, two months before me, maybe. No. I had, like, experimented with it in, like, my senior year of high school. I went to, like, my first Pride. But that was, like, dress out of my mom's closet. Like, Cleopatra Wake from Party City. <laughs> and, um... Do you have glasses I, I was out of contact, so I have my glasses. <laughs> so, you know, it was nothing great, but it was like that, and then like Halloween like my senior year and then so it was very much the like once or twice like during the year but I then like the summer after my senior year was when I was like okay like maybe this is something I could get into and it was just tough at the time because there weren't the resources that there are now and like the references so I was like going off of like two you know, tutorials that I could find <laughs> I feel like one of them was like Katana's probably yeah I feel like, like Katana was like one of the like first like YouTube tutorials that was out there and then there were like two or three other girls and so there was like nothing to go with. but yeah and then I put him in drag and he was not into it and then at one point he was like oh wait now I'm pretty and now I wasn't created a monster it's all him or her and when you started did you try to emulate his style or so when we started I so actually, I hated drag. I thought it was weird. Like I was like, why in the hell is a man trying to dress up like a woman? I didn't really think of it as an art form. But then he put me in drag, and I was like, I look like Tatiana. <laughs> like, I look hot. Um, but he would always put me in drag. And I don't know when the shift happened, but I was like, I don't like you getting in, in, in my face. Like I don't like, like the brushes in my face and stuff. So then I learned, because I'm like, you need to back off a little. <laughs> and clearly your drag is uh, completely different from each other. Right. And honestly, like you would think that our drag would be very similar because we both did drag together. I feel like a lot of like drag families that do drag together like are all consistent, but I feel like we both like found our niche and like just kind of like developed that. And like we've always done it together, but we're both like self-taught. So it's like we both look up to different people and like draw references from a lot of different places. And I think we do have like a lot of similar inspirations, honestly. But yeah. we just kind of um, channel them sort of differently. Yeah. So what are your drag inspirations? Let's just start this. I don't know. Right now, I feel like throughout my drag, I get. I don't, I don't want to say career, but like throughout my like drag life span, it started off with drag queens, and then it like kind of like veered into like Club Kitty, and right now I feel like it's sort of like I like to watch a lot of like fashion videos, runways, and get like inspired by like that. Makeup wise, I just I don't have like a like a particular like person. Um, a lot of the French drag scene. I feel like right now is really have been like inspiring me. That's why I've been like kind of like playing around with my like my eyes and whatnot. So there's no like exact like I'm inspired by this. It's just kind of like everything kind of like inspires me, and I just kind of like take it in and spit out whatever. <laughs> um, and then for me, like when I first started doing drag, I was really inspired by like queens like Manila who can do the camp but make it like really glamorous and so it's like that I just feel like it's a really nice fusion of that and so that was always kind of my goal to kind of make take this like cartoony artsy kind of thing and make it like pretty um and my goal on drag is never to be like gorgeous but more 
so like hard to kind of cut the life. Uh, it's kind of where I'm at. And I feel like I've gotten to the point where I don't really look at a lot of stuff for reference. I kind of have like my signature like face anyway, and unless I'm like looking to try to make a different thing. Um, and then, I don't know, most of my outfits are kind of just from wherever that I kind of like draw and figure out what I want to look like. <laughs> You gonna take a break, do business? Sure. Did you win? Yes. I won too. <laughs> well, actually, I can't give this to you if it goes towards my outfit. No. Oh, it's fine. Don't leave without seeing. <laughs> okay, BG, what's your favorite um, aspect of Liz's drag? Um, okay, can it be my favorite and my least favorite? <laughs> um, no, she's just such a perfectionist, which like is really admirable when it comes to like art stuff. But it's so frustrating to like work next to. <laughs> and I think this is one of those things where it's like I don't know. Like everything is like and I get it too, because like as an artist I understand that like you're very hard on yourself when other people aren't. But I'm like, no, you look perfect. And he's like, no, I'm good. Or like whatever. And I'm like, best looking one there, so like, shut up. <laughs> you know you're everybody's favorite, so. <laughs> but, yeah. I think my favorite thing about Bijou is... Be nice. Oh, I, I was, but should I be mean now? No, be nice. Like, the, because he comes from, like, an art background, he's able to visualize a lot of his drag and, like, kind of like put it out there like he'll sketch it up and like create an outfit and like I admire that because I'm not that like visual I don't want to say visual but like I can't think that way so like sometimes I'm like see something I'm like I'll try to recreate that but for him it's just like it comes out of his head and he puts it out there and I really like love that because I feel like I can't do that so that's why I like it. <laughs> And you both make your own outfits. Is that something that you did before you did drag, or is it something you got into when you're doing it's drag? It's something we did once we started drag. Uh, we actually were like in, in like this like small like online competition, and that really kind of I feel like jump got started. Started. yeah jump started and everything like styling wigs, doing hair. I mean, I used to be a lot bigger, so like shopping was a little hard. Um, so that's why I started making things but honestly like making things is so rewarding because you're like I did this nobody else has this it's unique and you know I don't know you, you're proud of it like the proud that you put you're proud of all the work that you put into it yeah and it's like so much like in theory it's not really easier per se but it's so much easier to be like okay this is what I want I'm gonna make it happen instead of being like this is what I want let me search all over the place <laughs> to see if I can find what I'm picturing and like piece something together so is one of you more organized than the other? yes <laughs> I'm a mess I'm a wreck I he like cleans up as he goes and like and now, don't get it wrong, like, I'll be like, please clean this up, and there's a pile of, like, half-finished selling products for months and months that are sitting on the table right now. And they're all Helen's. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's why they're not urgent at all, because like, she'll get it when she gets it. But he, like, he'll be, like, all cleaned up and we're ready to leave for the club, and meanwhile, I'll, like, come home, and I'll, like, push it aside so I can brush my teeth and get to the bed, and it'll sit there for days until I get dry again, probably. So... Is there anything about being a drag couple that um, people might not think about? Um, it makes it fun or hard or? I wouldn't necessarily say it's hard or like any different. Um, we do. I think what can be hard is drag can be very um, competitive. Like, I don't know. Like, whether you're trying to be or not, like, I think, and just like any kind of, like, art form, it's hard to not look at somebody else who's doing something and not compare yourself. Um, and luckily for us, I think that our drag's pretty different, so I don't typically, like, but I do also because I'm like, he'll come up with something and I'm like, oh, I wish I had thought of that. <laughs> or like, I'm like, that's so pretty, like, I went to make that. Um, and stuff like that. So that part can be frustrating, but it's also like, like on the other hand, at the same point, it's like it's very rewarding to see somebody else like doing something like, that. and inspiring to see somebody else like doing something really cool that pushes me to like do more. Yeah, doing two years. 
I was just to say, and we get to wear the same shoes because we're the same size, basically, <laughs> same hair. So the only thing is that I can't really wear his wardrobe. He can sometimes wear my stuff, but she's a little bit. She's juicy. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to plug? Um, follow my Instagram, not really Liz. That's that's it. Um, oh, you're making hair and shit, you know. Well, okay, so it's, it's on the down low. I, I don't necessarily advertise that I, I make outfits and I do hair because I don't like deadlines. You know, it, str it stresses me out. Yeah. So like, I'll do, I'll do hair for like Helen, Juliana, and all these other girls, um, but it's it's one of those things where it's like, I like it on my own pace, and they're like, just work on it whenever, and I'm like, cool. Because sometimes I'll, I'll like get a surge of like, oh, I need to get all this done, and I'll work on stuff really quick, and then sometimes I'm like, I don't want to do anything today, so. Yeah, not like you have, you know, <laughs> job or anything. You yeah, know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, um, same. I'm on Instagram, bijou.bentley, because Bijou Bentley was taken by a fan page, and then I was like, can I please have this? And they said, oh, I, don't, I can't get into it. So <laughs> that's not me. Um, otherwise, just when I'm not doing this, and I'm not being a bitch of retail, I do my art stuff. So thank you, too. And where can they buy your merch? Um, you can buy my merch, shirts on Drag Queen merch. I have an Etsy shop that I sell keychains from. And I also have those in person. My shirts, I don't, I, they're like a middleman, so I don't deal with those. But keychains and stickers, I try to carry on. You know, All right, thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you. you.